Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for my January faves and fails. As always, I will start with the fails and then move on to the faves and I have a freebie this month as well. I don't know if I should mention it as a fail or not, but you probably noticed I painted my headboard and I don't love it. I don't hate it, I started out kind of hating it, but I don't love it either. It's, it's okay, it kind of goes with the room, but it does darken down the room and I would prefer to lighten up the room. So I'm probably gonna be painting it again after I get my bedside tables and then I can match it exactly, but bit of a fail. But you know, I hated it before because it had yellowed, it used to be white and it had gone really yellow and I didn't like that. So you can't really ruin something that you hate. So I don't know, bit of a fail, but still worth trying. There is a workman walking right past my window. <laughs> They've been working on the water, like the water pipes, and then they burst a main, so we've been without water. And now he's like got it all fixed and reconnected, and he just wanted to turn on our outside tap to see if the water was... Like to release any air pockets and like make sure it's running. So that's kind of awkward. Anyway, second fail would be this mascara. I shared a mascara last month that was a fail. And I mentioned I was in the market for a mascara and I asked for a bunch of recommendations and I got some so thank you to anybody who recommended mascaras to me. The thing is I am on a bit of a spending freeze because I'm saving up for my bedside tables and so I didn't want to go to the shop and just buy one of those mascaras. However when I was buying groceries online at Countdown I realized that I was coming in under budget and there was a little bit of room there and Countdown sells Maybelline. So I went onto YouTube and I did a bunch of research on the best Maybelline mascara and it was this one that kept coming up. It's called Lash Sensational and it's in this pink tube and this is what the brush looks like. It's kind of, it's curved and then it's got long bristles on one side and short on the other and I don't know I should know by now that I don't like these rubber brushes I just anyway I hate this mascara I hate it I started out thinking oh I don't like it but I can work with it but the more I use it the more I hate it the formula is really thick and clumpy and it's getting worse and worse with time the brush I just Listen, I've been applying mascara to my eyelashes for 30 years and I have never got mascara all over my lid as much as I have with this stuff. I just, I just can't stand it. This one and the last one that I mentioned, I think it was last month. I'm to the point where I don't even want to try any new mascaras, even the ones that have been recommended to me. I just want to go back to what I've used in the past because both of the new ones I've tried recently I've hated so that was a fail and it's kind of annoying I don't know I'll probably I want to say I'll probably keep using it to use it up but I hate it so much that I really don't want to I don't know we'll see another fail I want to mention is the twine that I used to tie up my tomatoes I string train my tomatoes you've seen them in previous videos and the twine that I used last year was from the dollar store this year i bought twine from bunnings from their gardening section and just about every single one has broken which is super annoying because it damages the tomato plant when it falls over and then i have to go and balance this huge heavy plant and tie it up with i've been using like a more plasticky string twine thing that i found lying around so super annoying and i'm really peeved about that so I won't be repurchasing the twine from Bunnings and I won't be using that in my gardening again. Okay, I'll move straight onto my freebie, which is also a favorite. Well, I've used it once, so I can't say it's an ongoing favorite, but I did enjoy it. I really loved the product when I used it. And it is this face mask by Alia Skin. There you go. It's a pink clay face mask and inside it looks like this. Oh, no, it doesn't look like that. It looks like this. Uh, I've had one use out of it. And now my battery's flashing. 
Okay, fresh battery, let's keep going. So I was sent this product. I'm not being paid to talk about it. I was literally sent it and asked to do an honest review. So that is what I did. It's summertime here and I've been sweating and sunscreening and in the sun and out the sun and I just wanted to give my skin a little bit of a treat. So today I decided to try this mask. I put the face mask on with an old foundation brush. That's how I usually prefer to put on a mask. Sometimes I'll rub it into my skin, but today I used a brush and I just painted it all over my face thinly. It smells beautiful. It has a very light, fresh scent kind of a rose scent and it's smeared onto my skin very well it's a beautiful texture it feels really smooth and nourishing that's what I want out of a face mask is I want my skin to feel nourished and plump and moisturized afterwards so anyway like I said I put it all over my face and then I set the timer for 10 minutes which is what the instructions say put your feet up for 10 minutes and then after that you can wipe it off so wiping it off I just use a warm washcloth this is my microfiber face cloth I just used that with some warm water to wipe the mask off. It was dry in places, but in other places it was still a little bit damp, but that didn't matter. I just kind of removed it all and then the instructions say to moisturize and I slapped some moisturizer on. This mask made my skin feel so nourished and plump and moisturized and it just felt like a real treat. It feels like a luxury product. It is in a plastic bottle, but it feels kind of sturdy and heavy and like a it feels like a glass bottle. It has beautiful packaging. Just look at this lovely delicate pink. I just think it's so pretty to kind of have sitting in your bathroom. And the ingredients are Australian pink clay, bentonite, aloe vera, vitamin A, vitamin E, cacodum, plum, witch hazel, licorice, pomegranate, mangosteen, old man's weed, rosemary kelp, extract organic, um, and then there's a number benzyl alcohol, phenoxyethanol, dehydroacetic acid, and lactic acid, and D-limonene. So it has kind of natural and healthy ingredients in it, and it just, it felt like such a treat. It felt luxurious to use it, and like I said, I've used it once, so I can't say it's an ongoing favorite, but I'll definitely be reaching for it more often, just for that kind of pampering treat feeling my skin is generally pretty well behaved i don't have to do a lot to it in fact the less i do to it the happier it is but this i think i will be reaching for just for the experience if nothing else oh and if you want to have 10 percent off your own order if you choose to buy any of the alia skin cosmetics i have a discount code for you so in the description box you'll see the code you'll see a link to the website just type in jen morris one word and you'll get 10 percent off your order Okay, I'm gonna start my favorites with a couple of drinks. Now, I am not into drinks. I don't drink alcohol, I don't drink tea or coffee. If I go somewhere for drinks or like to a party where they're offering drinks, I will generally order a lime and soda. Sometimes I'll have an orange juice, but I'm just not into drinks. Like I drink water, I drink a lot of water. At the moment, I'm drinking four or five liters of water a day because it's been so hot. And I just generally don't want anything else to drink. I bought this because over Christmas I was eating a little bit of chocolate, like I was having a bit of dark chocolate most days, sometimes I was dipping into the milk chocolate, and you guys know I don't eat sugar. I've recently done a whole video about how I quit sugar. Because I was so addicted to sugar, I have to be very, very careful. And I started to feel like I was craving something sweet every day, and that's like a sign of the addiction coming back. And as I mentioned in that video, one of the ways to overcome an addiction to sugar is to quit it and to treat yourself in other ways so that you have that little treat to look forward to and that you don't feel deprived. So I decided to get myself a drink to enjoy in the evenings because we'd had apple tizer over Christmas and I so, so enjoyed it. So I went looking for apple tizer and I went to Pack and Save and they didn't have any, but they did have this. It is Phoenix Organics Sparkling Infusion, which I thought sounded refreshing and delicious. It says, I'm literally shocked. I like look down to read the ingredients, which the one I've been drinking, empty bottle, is watermelon, lime flower, and apple. So that's the one I've been enjoying. 
but this one the full one that i've got here is cranberry lime and apple so i picked this one up at the warehouse they had them on sale for two dollars fifty two but like i said the one that i first tried and have been enjoying is the watermelon lime flower and apple and it says refreshingly light let me see is it different i mean it's a slight difference to the label but it's obviously just a different flavor of the same thing countdown didn't have them and pack and save only had this flavor and a Fijoa one which oh I hate Fijoas they taste like perfume anyway getting to the point it is light and refreshing as it says refreshingly light on the front it's not like super sweet like a soda it's almost like a fruit juice cut with soda water and I so enjoyed it oh this one's got like floaties in I mean it doesn't hurt my feelings I'll still drink it so the ingredients are carbonated water organic apple juice concentrate watermelon juice concentrate lime flower extract natural watermelon flavor and black carrot juice concentrate which I think is for the color so there's no added sugar in there or anything Let's see what is in the cranberry one because usually they put sugar in cranberry stuff because they can be quite tart carbonated water organic apple juice concentrate organic cranberry juice concentrate organic lime juice concentrate natural cranberry flavor so no sugar i highly recommend them they are so delicious and light and refreshing and a little bit tangy and just something really different and i've been enjoying that most days it's not enough to set off sugar cravings for me and it feels like i'm giving myself a little bit of a treat okay the next drink i wanted to mention is one that my friend cami brought to our house and it is this one it's by enjoy and it is the lime apple lemon and mint fruit drink now fruit drinks i usually avoid because they usually have sugar in as well um if it says fruit juice it's pure juice but if it's fruit drink there's often crap put into it the ingredients are water apple juice from concentrate lemon juice lime juice grape sugar or fructose or grape sugar and fructose syrup acidity regulator natural mint flavor so it does have sugar in the grape sugar or fructose or fructose syrup like that sugar but i cut this kind of half and half with soda water and it doesn't it's not enough to like trigger cravings and i don't have it all the time but i really find it so refreshing and delicious like you can take a sip and all of those flavors come through the lime you can taste the lime you can taste the apple you can taste the lemon and you can taste the mint as kind of an aftertaste and it's just such an unusual mix and i just really enjoyed that another favorite this month has been flocked hangers i am not the first person to the party i'm super late to the party with flocked hangers but they just have been kind of life-changing I, I knew they worked well, people rave about them. Sorry, I'm looking at my top. I'm gonna to do a little demonstration for you. I knew they worked well, but I just didn't realize how well they worked. And I wanted to get some, but I didn't want to like buy an entire wardrobe's worth of hangers and spend a fortune. But I found these at the warehouse and it is $5 for a pack of eight, which I thought was quite reasonable. Plus I can just pick up one or two packs every time I go to the warehouse, like $5 isn't much. To add on top of whatever i'm already buying so it was just kind of a more affordable way of getting the hangers in so i'm just buying a pack or two here and there so as we know regular hangers not only do your clothes slip off because they're shiny and slippery but i find that the clothes tend to hang like that and the neckline gets all stretched out and then when you want to wear your clothes there's like usually a big like knob there like a bump in your clothes there and that's what really annoys me and I was kind of doing this elaborate like fold and tuck and putting my jumpers and cardigans like hanging over the hanger and it was just a hassle and I hate those little ribbon things even when you put them on it's still the neckline like, okay they don't fall off the hanger but the neckline still stretches out and they still get the bumps like it's a complete pain so these hangers like I'm sure you don't need me to demonstrate but they literally, like wherever you put your top, if you could put it right up there, it just stays stuck, like like with Velcro. Like it's it's going nowhere. It's not gonna slip anywhere. It's not gonna stretch out. I mean, they're slack there. I just think they're amazing. Like I'm a complete convert. I'm not gonna get them for all of my clothes, but I'm putting my dresses on them and I'm putting knitwear on, because I like to hang my knitwear, and I'm putting tops with wider necks that tend to kind of slip off the hangers. So big favorite another favorite has been our stainless steel coffee table top i love how it looks it makes me so happy and i love spraying and wiping stainless steel so 
it's I just find it so satisfying so it's actually getting cleaned whereas before I would clean it less frequently because even when I cleaned it it still looked dirty I just love it I just contacted a local engineering shop and he just made this stainless steel top to my dimensions that fits exactly over our coffee table top so I can still remove it like the wood tops underneath there it's just sitting on there and it was well he hasn't invoiced us yet but we had a similar top made for the table in the guest house which is a similar size and that was $90 which I thought was quite reasonable for a custom stainless steel top I want to do stainless steel everywhere I'm like should I stainless steel my desk should I stainless steel the dining room table I want all of my kitchen counters stainless steel I just love it so that's been a big plus like it makes me happy to look at and it's been so functional as well also getting the built-ins done I will link the vlog here to where we installed some built-ins in the living room it's not finished we still haven't done the doors and once I get the doors I need to trim them out and paint them and so it's not finished and it's kind of annoying me that it's not finished but already it's just been so functional it's made the room look so so much better and I've been able to get all of my photo albums out so I can film my how I organize my photos video that I want to share with you guys so they're accessible now it also freed up space in the top of Daniel's closet and that's another favorite the closet storage I finally sorted out all of our extra bedding and blankets and things so this is the top of Daniel's closet and how that looks all neatly organized with bins and then here is the top of Noah's closet and it's so functional and it looks good and it works so well and I'm loving that all of this organizing is so exhausting and then I want to relax in the evening. Okay, I'm trying to make a segue to the next item. The next item is my diffuser that I got from Kmart for $22. I cannot believe how expensive diffusers are. Like, Sensi diffusers are over $200, which blows my mind. I'd only ever seen diffusers for like $70 plus before and I'd always kind of wanted one because I like scenting my home naturally and I like aromatherapy and the benefits of essential oil spraying blah 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 and then I found this one at Kmart for $22. I mean it's not ugly it's just plastic but it's not ugly. This lights up so it's got it's got a light with two settings so you can have a dim or bright or off and then you can set your mister to go for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 120 minutes or 180 minutes. And it just does, like I didn't know how diffusers worked. I saw what looked like steam coming out. I'm like, how does it work? Because it's not hot. It's like supersonic vibrations basically, which then mist into there, whatever. It works really well. It does the job. And I like that after it runs out of water, it will beep and switch itself off. Like, I just like that the is a safety feature like it, it not only shuts off when it runs out of water but it actually lets you know as well i started off using it in the kitchen like on the end of the kitchen counter but i find that even with my sensi because the kitchen dining room living room is like a big open space the scent doesn't really linger very well in the air like i feel like i need multiple points of scent diffusion or my sensi wax melt or whatever so as far as scenting the room, it was okay, like I could smell it from my desk, but I just get annoyed with things sitting on the counter. Like at the moment, Grant's got a bowl of walnuts that he got at the crop swap in our neighborhood a couple weeks ago, and it's like annoying the crap out of me. I just, I just want him to be finished with these nuts so I can clear the counter. So I packed this away because I was annoyed with something sitting on the counter. But then recently I got it out and I put it into the bedroom. So when I go to bed, I usually read for about an hour or maybe half an hour, and I set it going then, and it's just, it's so relaxing to kind of smell the essential oils and just to, I don't know, it's just like a relaxing experience to see a diffuser misting anyway. And I can put the soft glowing light on. I've been diffusing lavender, geranium and clary sage because my hormones at the moment are so out of whack and those are supposed to like relax and calm and balance your hormones. So anyway, I need to stop talking now because that is a long time to talk about a diffuser. But I've been enjoying this and I wanted to let you know. Okay, my next favorite isn't something I can pick up and show you, but I will insert a clip here of showing you how I've started folding things in the filing method for the drawers. Everyone's been going on about this since the KonMari method, the life-changing magic of tidying up. That book like went super popular and everybody started folding their things in the filing method. She didn't invent it. Like, it's been around for ages and I've seen people do it and I just 
never did it. I just thought it seemed like a bit of a hassle and a bit of a gimmick. But last month in my favorites, I mentioned Abby Organizers, which is a YouTube channel I was enjoying. I will literally watch any video she uploads, even if it's something that doesn't really apply to me. And she did a video on folding her clothes in the filing method. and. That inspired me to give it a try and I love it. You fit so much more into the drawer, plus obviously you can find everything easier. And yes, it's like a little bit more hassle than just folding things into squares and chucking it in. Like you have to be a bit more mindful about the folding, but I actually quite enjoy it. It's an enjoyable process and it's so satisfying to like tuck your things into the drawers. So that has been a favorite, folding my items in the filing method. Okay, the next item I wanted to mention are these black sandals that I got from Kmart. These were $7. They look and feel so much like leather, but they're not. They're like fake leather. They've just been so easy to slip on. They go with everything. They're so comfortable and lightweight. They don't make my feet hot. And I really like this bit is like slightly angled. It's not just straight across, it's like angled slightly. And I think that just looks so flattering and feminine. So I've just really been enjoying these sandals. I kind of hesitated in buying them. I was like, do I really need these? Honestly, this is all I've been wearing. I'm so glad I bought them. My next favorite from the month of January was The Bachelor. I've watched The Bachelor in the past. I watched The New Zealand Bachelor. And Cammy was visiting and she was like, oh my goodness, I've just started watching The Bachelor. And she said it was the American one and it's just started. So I sat and watched the first episode with her that she had already seen. And then we watched the second episode together that neither of us had seen. And I'm like completely hooked. Please don't give me any spoilers because I have been saving up the episodes that have aired since Cammy and I are not watching them because I'm going to be going down and visiting soon. I mentioned I'm doing a meetup in Wellington and we'll be going down to visit and we are going to watch them together because it's not just The Bachelor that was so much fun, it was watching it with Cammy that was so much fun. We laughed so much. It took us twice as long as the episode length to actually watch it because we kept pausing and having these rants about these stupid dates and these daft women. I mean the whole premise of The Bachelor is like kind of disgusting but we watch it anyway and it's entertaining so that's been a favorite definitely watching The Bachelor with Cammy. Okay, I wanted to mention some music. I have always liked any Ed Sheeran songs that I hear. Like you hear it on the radio or wherever and I've always liked his songs that have been released. So I went onto YouTube and I found the Ed Sheeran official channel and he has like all of his music on there and I've so been enjoying it. I just really enjoy his work as an artist and from what you can tell, I mean you, you can't really know a celebrity from what you see in interviews and stuff but he seems like a really nice guy and I've just really been enjoying his music so I wanted to mention that as a favorite. Another music favorite is it's a song an instrumental song that I have heard in the background of a few videos it's by Epidemic Sound no it's not I will insert the artist's name here the song is called Invincible 3 and it's by this person and it is released by Epidemic Sound which is a royalty free music subscription so I have heard it in a couple of different youtubers videos but I absolutely love it I will leave a link to the actual song down below so you can have a listen I just think it is so beautiful and so uplifting and like I put my headphones on like when I'm cooking and I'm listening to music and it just oh it just like gets me in the feels I love it it's so beautiful okay I wanted to mention an item that maybe shouldn't be in a favorites video because it's not something that I'm currently using as a favorite. It's something I've used once, long ago, for a very specific reason and it worked well. And that's why I wanted to mention it. For some reason it came to my mind or it came up in conversation and I was like, people need to know about this product because it works and it works really well. <laughs> this is so random. It's called Odorid. We don't even have a pet at the moment, but a while ago we had a dog and we had her in the back of our car, which has like fold down seats. You would have seen it in my clean out my car with me video. It has fold down seats, which then becomes like the boot space. And this was before we had the rubber boot liner that I now have. And she was in the back there and we were driving, driving somewhere and we put on the back windshield wiper and she was terrified like she peed herself or rather she peed in the car and because it was fold down seats 
her weight went like into the upholstery of the seats, like the headrests and stuff. Gross, I know. So we, anytime we folded up the seats and you sat there, the, in the headrest you could just smell this dog pee and we would clean it and clean it and every time we thought it was fully clean the next time the car heated up you would smell dog wee so i went online to find a product that would deal with it and i found this it is pet stain and odor remover destroys pet urine odor permanently so the way it works is you spray this on you kind of saturate the area and this goes in and it destroys the uric acid crystals which is in the the animal's urine and like creates that smell so i'll just read the bottle for you okay you need to wear gloves remove excess solids and residual waste spray product onto affected areas so that it is saturated now just walk away odor red does all the work from there on it will foam up on contact with old urine stains and odor will disappear over a period of a few days if not repeat the process Odor Red is suitable for furniture, pet cages, carpet, grout, clothing, concrete, wood, and curtains. So you can use this anywhere. It's not going to damage your carpet or anything. However, they do say on their website, they can guarantee this won't damage your carpet like as is, but they can't guarantee that it won't react with other chemicals. So if you have used other cleaners in the area, maybe do like a little spot test. Once it is dry, it is safe for babies, it is safe for pets, it's not going to leave anything toxic, and it just really works. We sprayed this all over like the upholstery in the, in the car seats where the urine had like soaked right into. It's magic. Our car has never smelled ever since then. It just does a job. And that's why I wanted to mention it. So it's not a current favorite. I do have it still. We have it in our garage. I wonder if this would work on mattresses on like human urine like I don't see why not like if your child's wet the bed and you've cleaned the mattress as much as you can like surely this can go in and stop pee smell I don't know but if you have animals that have peed in the house or on furniture or anything this really works I ordered it online it was I can't even remember how much it cost but it wasn't expensive I mean we were on a super super tight budget we we're still living in Auckland like we couldn't get in to wave to each other, let alone meet. And this wasn't like a break the bank purchase. So Odor Red, just do a Google search, you'll find it. It works really well. Okay, and then the last favorite that I want to mention that is an actual current favorite that I'm enjoying pretty much every single day is a YouTuber and it's a channel called Inspired by Nikki. I don't know how I found her videos, probably just in the sidebar as a suggestion. And I just love them. They are so calming to watch. She is so soothing to listen to, she's so elegant, she's organized, I love her home. I love that her home isn't massive. It isn't like a huge unattainable mansion, it's just a normal sized home and she's decorated it so beautifully and I just highly enjoy her videos. So go and check out her channel, I will leave a link down below as I will for everything in here. Tell her that I sent you over, I hope you'll enjoy her videos as much as I do. So that is all I have to share with you today. I'm looking at this and it's like frosty and cold and I'm thinking I'm gonna go and have a glass of this now. It has been so so hot here, it's kind of amazing, I mean we want summer to be hot, last summer we just didn't get a summer. It is February weather and February hasn't even started yet so I'm sure we're going to be roasting for another couple months but loving the summer weather at last. Took a while since we had like a year of rain but it's here at last. Hope you guys are enjoying the weather whatever it's doing where you are and I hope you have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.